Hi Capricorn and welcome to your April mid-month love tarot reading. I am so sorry these are out a little bit late. I had actually gotten through about half of them and I just, I was not feeling them. I wasn't. Uh, the energy right now is crazy. So I took a couple days and refreshed and now we are going to try this again. So, um... <laughs> Take a chance on love, Capricorn. So anyways, we are looking at the love and romance energies for singles, couples, and those who are dating this second half of April 2018. All the decks I am using are listed in the description box below. So Capricorn, it looks like we have two overall energies for you guys in regards to love and romance for the second half of April. So we have You Are Limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. And wow, be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So I see with this Capricorn that um, the universe is trying to give you a boost of confidence and telling you, you know, don't hide who you are, not one single bit. If you're feeling somebody and they can't love you for your authentic self, then they're truly not worth your time because, you know, with you are limitless, this is the universe trying to tell you what your value is, what your worth is, and recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. This is saying you don't have to settle for anyone or anything okay you are beautiful and the more you allow that true essence of yourself to come through the you know more you attract people into your life whether romantically or you know as friends whatever but uh, this next two weeks of April is really like the universe is saying to get in tune with yourself and don't be afraid of you know, showing who you are and being vulnerable and all of that because you can do anything you choose to do. So let's see what exactly the universe is talking about. We'll pull a couple of romance angels as the highlights for these next two weeks. Okay, there we go. So we have passion and we have a soulmate. Wow, those are pretty nice energies. So let's just pop these up here and uh, see how these energies are playing out over the next two weeks because these are the highlights. So some of you are just feeling very passionate towards somebody. Others of you are feeling very passionate about calling your soulmate into your life, okay? So let's, um, let's see what the goddess next has to add to this on how these energies will transition these last two weeks of April. Okay, so ooh, we have two cards, so we'll pull the third one there. Okay. So, we have the warrior, nice, we have letting go, and we have belonging, oh my gosh, how fantastic is this, I love this, the warrior is two, this is card 22, so with this, uh, the warrior is an energy that is incredibly dedicated heart and soul okay and this is like we're holding on too tightly so we're working hard we're very diligent heart and soul but there's something that we need to let go of okay but now we come over here to belonging and this is the, this is the card of this entire deck right here. This is the House of the Night card. And belonging, this here to me is the universe saying, 
if you are involved with somebody or you are pursuing somebody and it's just not working like no matter what no matter what you do it's just like you're not making headway and that's probably why these energies are coming out because you could be really doubting yourself if, if you've been really pursuing it whether it's to date somebody you're dating them or you're like in a relationship with them it's this pursuit of like trying to prove yourself trying to woo them and the universe is like listen no you do not need to work that hard for anybody you need to let go of this uh, warrior spirit about whoever it is whether you're in a relationship with them or you're just trying to pursue them you need to let that go because with belonging this is your confirmation that you don't have to chase love ever 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 okay and now since this is general this could go the other way if you if somebody's been really pursuing you hardcore but you're not filled with passion for them like you just kind of like the attention it's time for you to let that go okay because they belong to somebody else and so do you and and you both just haven't aligned with that person yet so this is like let go of you know what just sucks you dry that you know you're chasing or that is endlessly pursuing you that you're not interested in but again you might entertain it just because you you know it's nice when somebody really likes you right um anyways let it go because belonging this here with soulmate there is like you don't want to miss out on that okay and I think some of you are kind of caught up on somebody else or something else that isn't this soulmate energy and when you let that go that's when this can come in okay and this person is going to appreciate you for who and what you really are um, now if you are in a partnership This doesn't look bad. So why? what is it that we need to let go of, Capricorn? If you are in a relationship, is it, you know, that you need to express yourself better? Is it, you know, that maybe you need to put more time and energy into the relationship? Because this is such beautiful cards. I don't, I don't know, but there's something we need to let go of, okay? But if you are in a partnership and, and you and your mate are really loving each other, you know you're supposed to be together, you know, with belonging, I feel this is a confirmation that it's your soulmate and maybe you're just, a, it's a lot of insecure thoughts you need to let go of or if you got, if this is a relationship where you have reconciled and come back together, you might be very worried about, you know, past stuff and it's like you've got to let that go because with belonging and soulmate some Capricorns out there this is totally your confirmation of yes this is your soulmate and you belong together a hundred percent the passion is real don't be afraid to be who you are let go of anything that doesn't serve you okay so let's pull a, a few tarot cards just to get a bit more information on these energies All right, two cards. I mean, two cards flew out, two cards flew out, two cards flew out, two cards flew out. This is some of you, yes, yes, who you are with is the one for you, okay? Don't be afraid to be who you are. Let go of insecurity, let go of fear. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay. We have, since this is the side it flew out on, this is the side I take that the universe is wanting to bring forth, okay? Not this side. So this is, you know, where we're headed is better than where we've been. And that's definitely been your pursuit, your desire, whether you are single, dating, or um, in a serious partnership. Like, you've really wanted to improve the relationship. Now, with letting go, some of you, this honestly means, like, 
you guys legit are like letting somebody go but because this is the card that comes out this says we're we're temporarily stepping away from something because it's just you see the smoke the hazy smoke over the sun it's like I can't see clearly I, I don't quite see what the way forward is you know and this is saying stepping back doesn't um, you know make you lose momentum some of you in the relationship this is like you need to let a certain fight go okay because the last card we have is this queen of swords so Gemini um, Libra or Aquarian energy or this could just talk about the energy that you need to embody okay but what this is saying is you know, I've been working really hard to try to either improve my relationship or to attract a relationship into my life or I've been working really hard to pursue a very specific person. This here says, you know what, let it go for a minute, take a step back. And, you know, from that vantage point, you're going to feel different, energy is going to shift. And then we come over here into the belonging with this Queen of Swords. So this to me is, you know, if you and your partner just haven't been getting along, you know, you're bickering, it's best if you just kind of like let all those differences go and take a step back and, you know, focus on the passion you guys feel for each other. And it's like by the end of the month, you come to an understanding finally, okay? Um, some of you who are just you've been like so die hard and pursuing somebody and they're just not giving back to you and the reason why you've been so die hard is because you feel like they're your soulmate listen if they're not giving back to you what you're putting in you need to take a step back and and kind of like let it go a little bit um it doesn't mean like you're you have to ban them from your life but the universe is saying you know take a step back you don't have to work this hard for love. You really don't. And in that space, you come to this realization that, again, where you belong, you don't have to work so hard for it. Or, you know, if you've been entertaining somebody who's just really working hard to get into your life, you know, again, you're going to realize, no, we don't really belong together and I don't want to lead you on. But, uh, I love the belonging with this Queen of Swords in this position. It's just like Capricorn's going to know where they belong by the end of April. And, you know, if somebody's been playing games with you, you're just not interested anymore. You're not. You're just going to be like, mm, whatever. Good riddance to you. Um, now, if you are super, super single, what I feel about this is you've your pursuit of calling in love is what you've got to kind of take a step back from that okay um so if you're doing like a lot of uh, manifesting trying to manifest your love a new love in your life um you know you could this could just be so many different ways we're going about trying to call a soulmate into our life okay and this is the universe saying, yes, you've been doing everything you could possibly do, but it's time to relax that energy and let the pursuit go. Because in when you do that, it creates this right here where you're going to see where you belong. And it allows, you know, your energy to open up for a soulmate to come in. It's so hard to explain what I mean by that, but try those of you who are very very single try just letting it go for these next two weeks that you're single just don't think about it don't feel about it if you can and just be happy with yourself and your own energy because there's a lot of crazy energies going on right now in the universe and by the end of april i just feel like you are very clear the haze is gone and, and you know exactly what you are wanting so let's pull some advice for you all right yeah 
all of you, play and be amazed. Don't be so serious these next two weeks, no matter what your romantic situation is. The energy universally is just intense right now. So recognize that and say, you know what, I'm not going to be so serious about this. I'm just going to kind of relax and flow these next two weeks and you'll be, you'll feel so much better for it. I promise you. Okay. So Capricorn, those are the love messages that I have for you guys for the second half of April. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.